The San Diego City Council is about to vote on whether or not to raise your water bill by as much as 20%. It's our top story on the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. CBS 8's Kelly Hassett joins us live from City Hall with what's happening there right now. Kelly. That's right, you know, when this meeting started at 2 p.m., but right now, if you take a look behind me inside council chambers, uh, council members are weighing in on this issue, uh, voicing some concerns about this rate hike and asking staff questions. So we are expecting a vote here shortly, but I can tell you during public comment, there was definitely a lot of frustration. Uh, here's some of what we heard. I feel a 20% rate increase is far too much. Uh, we have rental properties also. We try to keep our rents very reasonable, and with this rent raise, the raise in water rates, we will have to pass that on to our renters. Everything is going up right now. Lights, gas, rent, and food. You know what's not going up? My paycheck. That's why I sometimes don't have enough to eat to wash my clothes. According to the American Water Works Association, San Diegans pay over twice the national average in water bills. We cannot afford a rate increase. And people brought signs with them uh, that read things like affordable water now. So here is a proposal that's about to be voted on. If approved, water bills in the city of San Diego will jump by nearly 20% in the span of less than a year and a half. The first increase of 10.2% would hit in December. Residents would see the full impact of another 8.7% increase by January 2025. So why is this proposal being considered? Well, city leaders say more money is needed to keep pace with the rising cost of imported water and also to help pay to replace and maintain aging pipes and other infrastructure. They say they also needed to fund capital projects like the pure water sewage recycling system. Now, among the people in the crowd today, a man named Phil Radomsky, he is a landlord. He says he had a leak under his rental property, and for two years his bills were suspended. He then got a 3,500 water bill, and he is not happy. Now they want a 20% increase in their water rates. I want to hold them accountable. Do your job. Do your job and start managing your own house and then to ask for a water rate increase. And of course, uh, CBS 8 has been covering the billing issue with the Public Works Department or the Public Utilities Department, I should say, extensively. Uh, there were definitely other people who echoed uh, his sentiment as well, who say they're angry about the billing problems and they cannot imagine giving uh, the Public Utilities Department more money. So back out here live, five votes are needed for this to pass. Uh, if it passes today, it is a done deal. It, there will not be a second reading. Heather and Carlo. Well, you can understand why people are voicing their frustration. Kelly, what is the latest, by the way, from the Public Utilities Department about the billing problems? Well, the director spoke to the council today, and he said things are improving in customer service. Uh, he basically also said, though, pass this rate hike, and you will see some big improvements uh, when it comes to billing. He says they're working on this online portal uh, that they're trying to get up and running. Now, one thing he said that did strike me as kind of funny is he said the uh, amount of time people used to spend on hold was between, like, 90 and 120 minutes. He says they've gotten that down to, like, 35 to 45 minutes on average, which still isn't great but he says things are starting to improve. I guess it's progress. Kelly Estelle reporting live for us from San Diego <laughs> City Hall where they're uh, thinking about a significant increase in water bills. Thanks, Kelly. And uh, talk to Mayor Todd Gloria about